The good news is, I spared you guys Isle of Conquest. The bad news is, this is me on my Shadow Priest versus two rogues. Actually, it's not so bad. Now, my whole objective here is capture the graveyard. So when the Horde res, after they get wiped, I want them to res in another zip code far, far, far away. Because the more travel time involved, the more time you eat up on the clock, that could prove valuable. Now, pop the banner. This will increase my stamina by 10 or 15%, I forget which, 500 honor points, and it's yours, Hood or Alliance. Two rogues, two yellow bars over there. I want to engage them before they engage me because they're out in the open and not stealth. Now, I want to point out that these two Tweedledee and Tweedledum rogues are... Let, I'm trying to think of a nice way to put this, and there really isn't. These guys are really, really bad. This is not a testament of skill on my part. This is, I mean, because these two rogues have about as much talent as a penguin playing the accordion. No, this is a demonstration of feather power and kiting because it does pretty much work as you will see. Now, I'm gonna speed away, speed away, speed away. I wanna try to kite them away from the flag so they can't cap it. And they're biting, they're biting, because in, in, they're seeing red, all they wanna do is kill the Shadow Priest, kill the Shadow Priest, kill the Shadow Priest. Meanwhile, I have no idea why that wolf is there. I have no clue, he's just kinda wandering around. But, all they wanna do is kill the Shadow Priest. They're forgetting about the objectives and that's precisely what we want them to do. Just kite them, kite them, kite them as far away from the flag as possible. As you can see, Feather Power is in full gear. Look at the power of this. Now, granted, these two rogues, stealth, don't know what it is. Stuns, don't know what they are. Any other CC, blinds, you name it. These rogues don't know how to find it, don't know how to use it. Now, look how far away they are from the flag. I've kited them into almost a completely different zip code. The whole dialect of this area is different. They speak a different language. It's that, they're that far away. Now, we're about to finish one of them off. Yep, he's dead. He's not faking it either. Now, this guy's a little bit, little bit smarter than the other one. Hey, thanks for the help, Mr. Warlock. Appreciate it. Look how far away he is from the flag. Now, the warrior's seeing the flag. I got to get back over there and stop him. But first, I want to finish off this rogue because then he's going to come in at me stealth, and then I got some major, major problems. Now, we're going to finish him off as I keep myself mobile, keep myself running around in circles, confusing, confusing, confusing the troll. Hey. Nothing wrong about confusing trolls, but he's about, oh, finally, <laughs> he figured out where Cloak of Shadows is. Like I said, guys, this isn't a testament of skill. This is just a testament of kiting and really using a priest ability to its greatest potential. Hope you liked it. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Luxly out.